old school NASA, which is still going strong. The Voyager satellites, after 35 years, are still keeping on keeping on. Was that NASA's golden age? Who might ask? Man, but America used to know how to make stuff that doesn't break. Alas, WTF happened to those days. NASA is supposed to be the inspirational crowning jewel to America and the world. So I'm starting to wonder if you guys even understand comments. I'm going to say the word shit a lot of times in this video because there's a lot of shady shit going on. Hermione, come to me. Da -da 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 This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C2014, Q2, Love, Joy, and WTF Professional Science. Seriously, bro. I, mean, I know you guys are busy, but it's pretty late in the game, you know? Like, stay cool. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. WTF, NASA. What the fudge nipples, NASA? Why you guys gotta act so sneaky, shady, shysty? I swear, sometimes you guys act like trill-ass nickels. You know what I'm saying? Trill-ass buffalo nickels, man. And I would put a boot in your ass... Because I want to see NASA get back to being the crowning jewel of inspiration and innovation. Now, the two shady, shasty things we're talking about here today happen to be about Comet C-2014-Q2 Lovejoy. We're looking at Jet Propulsion Lab data. Now, Comet Lovejoy is currently at a 3.8 brightness magnitude. I've seen it at a 3.6, but most places have it at a 3.8. As you can see here... It's just now about to be parallel with Earth. I'm thinking on January 17th should be our best time to see it. Look across from Orion's bow and up a little. We won't hit perihelion closest to the sun until the 31st. Now, shady, shiesty shit number one. We come down here to orbit determination parameters. Shiesty shit number one. Number of observations used, 1,281. In an arc span of 185 days. Now, as far as I know, no one at NASA has mentioned this comet or has showed us a professional photograph from the 1,281 observations. Maybe through all those observations, they didn't take a single photograph, you know? <laughs> Hard to believe, but so, and then they stopped updating it around January 7th, which is a week ago. All right, so that's shady, but not out of the normal for NASA. All right, shady shit number two. Shady shit number two. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because poo poo's number two. And, um, okay. First observation used 2014 07 01. So NASA first observed it in July. What? Now, Terry Lovejoy, the prolific comet finder, discovered it. Comet C2014 Q2 Lovejoy is a long period comet discovered on 17th of August. 2014 by Terry Lovejoy. So NASA first observed it July 1st, 2014. Terry Lovejoy discovered it a month and a half later, six weeks later. What does that mean? Would you have ever told us, NASA? I mean, this comet has been far more impressive than Ison. So I'm curious, man. What does that mean? Are you trying to take credit? Like, yeah, we found it six weeks before he did. We just weren't going to tell nobody. And this comet is far more impressive than Comet Ice never was. So I'm starting to wonder if you guys even understand Comet. Or did you like hang it up after filet churri chismo, whatever that Comet $3 bill is called. NASA is supposed to be the inspirational crowning jewel to America and the world. The world's falling apart. Pretty sure there's a correlation there. All right, God bless everybody. Can someone take captain of the ship and NASA, please, can we get a good human being who gives a shit about the people of Earth to take control of our legacy space program? Please. I'll do it. And I'd do a damn good job, too. I guarantee you. We'd be on the moon by Friday. And it's Thursday. Peace out. God bless everybody. Old school NASA, which is still going strong. The Voyager satellites, after 35 years, are still keeping on keeping on. Was that NASA's golden age? Who might ask? Man, but America used to know how to make stuff that doesn't break. Alas, WTF happened to those days.
What are all the professional astronomers doing? Eating caviar at strip clubs and snorting gold dust skittles? I mean, come on. That's that's pretty that's pretty skeezy, bro. That's pretty super skeezy, man.